Baby Mate are releasing a new album. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, Baby Mate are releasing a new album. They release new shows in Japan. Oh my god. Fox Day. It has been revealed. Amazing. This, this blows all of my planned videos out of the window because we have news. We have news. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. The rundown. Let's talk about what is going on with Baby Metal. So, Fox Day, the 1st of April. Every year since 2016 they've released something, I think. Um, last year was a cryptic message which was just... It was weird. It was weird. So, fans anticipated something was going to be released on Fox Day and we were, I was disappointed throughout the whole day. It, it wasn't released until like the last minute. Everyone was thinking it was going to be at like 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock in the evening, 11 a.m. It's going to be, it's going to be when this certain time in Japan, it's going to be when it's the first of April everywhere. We just didn't know, we didn't know what was going to be released and just, yeah. Even, I got so, so worried and frustrated, I I direct messaged the Baby Metal graphic novel Twitter account, <laughs> which I really did not want to, I really didn't, but I was like, everyone was just going nuts and we just needed something, so I messaged them, and then they, then they released this news, and then I said, never mind, and they replied with that. Right, they released three pictures. One of them releasing, they're going to release an album this year. Don't know when, just sometime this year. And then the second photo was Baby Metal Awakens, The Sun Also Rises. Oh my God. So June, June 28th and 29th is going to be a show at Yokohama Arena. Yes. Oh my God. And then another one was Baby Metal Arises, Beyond the Moon, Legend M. Finally, finally. Oh my God. We, um, everyone was hoping for a Legend M, like, really, really hoping. It's amazing that Moa gets her own show. Oh my gosh. That is on the 6th and 7th of July in Nagoa at Port Messe. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, we don't know the capacity of this. It could be 10,000. It could be like 2,000. It's really weird. No one can get a definite answer. Cause I think it's, I think it's different depending on what's going on in that place. And obviously Yokohama Arena, they haven't played there since 2015. And that is a capacity of 17,000 people, which is a lot. And if the other one is really like 2,000 capacity, that's such a difference. I mean, this the Yokohama one could be the massive big reveal of their album or a few songs. And then Legend M for some lucky few to look at Moa's coming of age show. Now, there's a theory, which I, I think I actually do believe is the one at Yokohama Arena is supposed to be Legend Y. And Yui was born in Kanagawa and Yokohama is in Kanagawa, so that was supposed to be Legend Y. I don't know. We don't know. It's just a theory. But if it was, the Yokohama Arena is massive and the other one isn't in the Goa. It's not really fair. So some people are saying that the arena isn't going to be made out to be full capacity. Maybe it's the, the stage is going to be in the middle and there's only going to be like a few around it. No idea. But anyway, if they do feel that that's Joe, that arena, it will be insane. It will be epic. Them releasing all this on Fox Day has just confirmed so many things. <sighs> that they are still alive and they've also um, released a... They're going to release a magazine with a like a big interview inside it um, with this awesome picture here it is absolutely stunning they're wearing like red cloaks and they just look flawless no fringe though um, so I've already ordered that from the Japanese Amazon website amazing I think it's like 15 pounds and then postage and it's it's all right I've ordered a magazine from them before so I would recommend before it sells out and it's number one as um, in the Japanese Amazon like list. <laughs> it's amazing. And the kind of 
loads of different websites have been talking about this new album and shows and they said that in the middle of April more information is going to be released about these shows so we'll see what happens and also April 23rd is when the, the, no, the new The One membership starts and there is a countdown on The One website with a little thing ticking around <laughs> with a countdown so I, I've, I've ordered The One t-shirt obviously and that it's not a big t-shirt I've ordered they've got different sizes so I've ordered my size which is awesome so we might get another, some more news on the 23rd of April. So April is going to be the best month ever. <laughs> amazing. I'm going to Japan next week, so it's going to be extra amazing. And also Avengers Endgame is out at the end of the month. <laughs> Just thought I'd throw that in there. So, but before this happened, we would hold that Seiya, so she performed in Japan with like the seven people and with Sue and Moa in Australia. Everyone was specta speculating that she was going to be a third member, but then she was still posting on Twitter, she was still uploading to TikTok. I really like her videos on TikTok, by the way. They're just so cute. There is a place called Torahime Ichiza, I think that's how I pronounce it, which is an amuse cafe and food service. So she'll be performing and I don't actually know exactly what goes on on there, but there's some other people. I think there's someone else from Sakura Gaku in who's there as well. Um, so that's awesome for her, which pretty much confirmed that she wasn't going to be a part of Baby Metal permanently. Yeah, so she is, yeah, so that confirmed that. We're all getting all of these new things before Vox Day. We just had no idea. They literally have said nothing on their Twitter page, just absolutely nothing. And it's been killing us inside. But yeah, we know now. So, and also this is Metal Resistance episode eight. So will, will we ever find out what the light side is of episode seven? Probably not, which sucks. I can't wait for June and July. It's gonna be amazing. The merch will probably be awesome. Yes. Baby Metal fans are so happy right now. Like we have news, everything went nuts when they released that picture. It was so exciting, it was amazing. So we'll see what happens with these shows and if they announce any more. They're obviously playing at Summer Sonic, which is exciting. I can't, I can't believe we've got, we're gonna have a third album. Can you, I can't believe it. We've been wanting this for so long. It's been, it's been ages since Men of Resistance. Like 1st of April, 2016, they released that. Like, come on. Thank you so much for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!